Wow, I still can't believe I can be out in the sun and still cut on the Cricut Explorer with the new iPad app. This is going to be the best summer ever. Next map! <sighs> Next mat. Ooh, only 21 more mats. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And today, we're kind of doing a mini review of the new Cricut iPad app. A lot of people have been really excited for the iPad app and it's finally here. So we show you how you can download it from the App Store, get started with it, we go through all the menus, show you how to cut something, and how to buy a project. So remember, the Cricut app doesn't replace Design Space, it just kind of augments it a little bit by doing the Make It Now projects. Also remember, you need to have the Bluetooth adapter for your Cricut to be able to use the iPad app. So here's our review. So here we are on the home screen of my iPad. We've already downloaded the Cricut program. You can see that at the bottom, but we're going to walk you through the steps of getting it for yourself in the App Store. I keep the App Store in an Apple folder, so I'm going to tap on my Apple folder and then tap on App Store. So when you come to the App Store, to the upper right is the search field. We have craft in there right now, so I'm going to clear that and type in Cricut. And choose Cricut from the search results. You'll see three results, or at least we are right now. And the first one is DIY Projects, Make It Now with Cricut Explore. And that's the application we want. Currently, I have an open button because I've already purchased it and downloaded it. Normally, you would have a free button, just like you can see with the app to the right of the DIY projects. It has free. So, to download it, you would tap the free button, and if you haven't downloaded anything recently, it'll ask for your App Store password just to verify. Once you've verified, it'll download it, and then you'll see an open button. But normally you're going to launch it from the icon, so I'm going to go back to the home screen and launch the DIY Projects app. I put it in my dock on my iPad, so I'll have it on any screen because we're probably going to be using it a lot. So to launch it, I just tap on Cricut. So here we are at the Projects page in the application. If you look across the top, there's a bunch of icons. We'll go through them one at a time. The first icon is the user icon. It has a picture of a person with a check mark on it if you're logged in. If you're not logged in, it'll just have a person without a check mark on it. Let's select it. It shows that there's a getting started guide, my name because my account's the one that's logged in, as well as a green logout button if you wanted to log out to let someone else log in the terms and conditions of the application, and what version number it is. Let's go to the Getting Started Guide. The Getting Started Guide will show you what you have to do with the Cricut Explorer, the Cricut Bluetooth Adapter, and your iPad to get them to all work together so you can be able to cut from this application. Let's say Set Up Now. We've already set up our Cricut Explorer, so now we're going to pair the iPad with the Cricut Explorer. We're going to go back to the home screen. Ken keeps his setting application in the Apple folder. So I'm going to go into the Apple folder, into the settings application, select Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on if it's not already on, and it's going to scan the area for Bluetooth devices. So there's Ken's Cricut. I'm going to select it and it's going to communicate with it. And once it has its handshake between the iPad and the device, it'll ask you for the PIN number, which on the other screen in the application, it told you was 0000. Then you're going to tap pair at the top of the screen. 
and it's going to pair the device and it'll say connected. It also gives you this message. Cricut would like to communicate with the Provocraft in Novelty Inc. You want to allow that. And it'll take you right back to the application. And we're going to say, I'm connected. You're ready to make your first cut. So if you're ready, tap the Start First Cut. And it'll load what they're giving you as your first project, the word Create. So to cut this out, you're going to tap the Go Free button at the bottom. And the reason it says free is because this is a free cut. It's going to load up a screen very similar to Design Space. It's going to tell you to load the mat, set the dial for whatever kind of cardstock or paper you're going to use, and then press the Go button on your Cricut Explorer, and it'll cut it out. So as you can see, as we turn the dial, it changes what kind of stock you have loaded in the Cricut. For this particular cut, we have regular card stock. And now it shows the Cricut Explorer is cutting. When you're done, you can click the OK button on the dialog that tells you that it's done, and then you can unload your map. So there you go. We've made our first cut. From the map, when you want to get back to the list of projects, you can tap the button to the upper right that looks like a little book with a bookmark. This will take you to the list of projects. If you went to the list of projects by mistake, you can tap the other icon to the upper right, which looks like a mat, and that will take you right back to the project you were working on. So once more, let's go back to the list of projects by tapping on the book. The last icon across the top is over to the left, where it looks like three lines. Tapping on this shows all the categories. So at the top, you can select all the categories to browse through all the 449 projects you can choose from, or you can narrow it down by choosing one of the categories, like home decor or cards. But let's hop down to the bottom, free. So now you can just see the projects that are going to be free to cut. And as George says, who doesn't like free? So once again, you can scroll through the list of projects and select one that you want to make. This 3D hot air balloons looks kind of cool. Selecting it will show you all the information that you need to know. At the top, it says the name, how hard it will be to do, how long it should take. It also shows you the instructions to the right hand side of this window. To the left hand side, it shows you a short description and the materials that you'll need. And you can scroll this window up and down. One of the things that you might notice in the materials list that it says you're going to need is the Cricut Design Space software. Well, they're going to have to update that because we're using the iPad software. We don't need the Cricut Design Space software to make this one. If you scroll back up to the picture, the three dots underneath it signify that there's other pictures. So if you tap on the picture, it'll show you the other pictures. In the upper right hand corner of this window, it says make it now. And it says free, because this is a free cut. So let's select that, and it'll take us to the mats. Because we have our first project, the word create, still loaded in memory, it's asking us if we want to replace it or keep the original. And we're going to say replace. Now it shows all of our 12 by 12 mats filled up with the different images. You can select them and go to each one and see exactly what it's going to cut. You can select the objects in them and move them around if you want to cut them in different places on the mat, because maybe you're going to use different pattern paper. Or what happens if you don't have 12 by 12 paper? You're all out and it's midnight. All the stores are closed. 
Ken, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All you have to do is tap on material size. And this lets you choose from a number of pre-select sizes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we only have letter paper left. Ken, what are we going to do? Well, you can come right down and do 11 by 8.5. It's a little odd that it doesn't have 8.5 by 11, but you still have the letter size. You just have to lay it down in landscape. So tapping on that, it adjusts the mats. So it shows the landscape, 8.5 by 11 paper, and it moved things around and even moved some of the cuts to another mat because I'm going to have to do two cuts now. Wow, it's like it knew. And what's the other icon? It's not only going to cut, but it's going to score or write or score. I can't tell. This case, it's going to score. You can tell because it's got the little line underneath. Wow, this is like having design space in our hand. Almost, if all that we could do was make it now, projects. So you can scroll through all the lists of available layers that you're going to cut. Let's say this particular layer I didn't want to cut because I was playing with this before and I cut it already. If you look on the bottom, in the middle, by the mat, there's a skip mat button. And you can skip it. Oh no, Ken, I tapped skip mat. But I didn't really cut this one. What do I do? Well, right by the same button... It now says don't skip. All you have to do is tap that, and the mat is no longer going to be skipped. Wow, you're a lifesaver, Ken. Not only can you scroll up and down in the left part of the window, but you can use the arrows on the left and right of the mat to scroll forward and backwards. And there's also a mirror image slider in case you were cutting for iron-ons. In this case, the mirror image really didn't do anything because they're exactly the same when you flip them around. Well, if you held them up to a mirror, you could tell. No. So the last few buttons when you're working with mats are at the top. First, you have some up-down arrows. When you tap that, you get the three little lines next to your mats, which let you reorder them. This could be handy if maybe you have a project that has lots of writing and you want to get all the writing done first, or scoring, and you want to get all the scoring done first so you don't have to keep swapping out tools when you're cutting your mats. Or maybe you just have different order that you want to cut things in. It's all up to you. And then right beneath it at the top, underneath the title of the project, the last thing is project copies. Right now it says one, but if you tap the one, you can go ahead and type in as many copies as you want. So when you're ready to cut, I want five question mark copies, Ken. It knew, so you can't make a mistake. Well, I think it might be a mistake to cut 15 copies. That's going to be quite a lot of 3D balloons. We're having a balloon festival, I didn't tell you. No, you didn't. Oops. One thing Ken forgot to mention is when you're done reordering your mats, there's a done word at the top next to the project name. You just tap on that, and that'll make the three lines go away. So there's some other cool things you can do with the mat section of the application. Just like any other iPad app, you can pinch and spread your fingers to zoom in or zoom out. So if we touch the mat, and spread them apart, you can zoom in and you can see all the fine detail. Or you could touch the screen and pinch in and that'll zoom out. So let's zoom in a little bit and then touch an object that we want to rotate because our paper's cut funny and we want it to fit. So select two sides of it. Maybe, there we go at the same time and you can rotate the image. Let's zoom back out. So there, if we had funny cut paper, kind of in a big giant T shape, 
that's what we could do to make it cuttable for us. Or if that's just the way you want the pattern to go on the cut piece. Oh, that might make a good background piece. So other than that, you really can't customize the project. You can't change the sizes or shapes or hide contours or merge objects. You can pretty much just rotate it and zoom in to look at details. And skip mats. That's about it. So the last thing we want to show you is how you can buy a DIY project. Because it wouldn't be a Crafts by 2 video unless we bought something. Right. Wait, is this a haul? You're not buying 446 projects. Aw, oh, man. So let's go back to the list of projects. Let's go to the categories, the three lines. And we're going to select gear. And we'll do this herringbone phone case. Again, it shows you the instructions, how long it'll take you to do, what level of complexity it is, instructions, and materials. And up at the top, it says make it now for 99 cents. Again, it has our old project in memory, so we're going to tell it to replace it. And it shows us the map for our new project. Down at the bottom, it says go for 99 cents, and that's what we want to do. We want to buy this project. So it'll ask you to log into your iTunes Store account. We're just going to edit this one out because otherwise you'd see my password. So once you clicked on OK, it asks if you're ready to confirm your in-app purchase. So this is a little different than Design Space. It's going to use the Apple App Store to make your purchase, not the credit card that you have associated with your Cricut account. So we want to buy this. We're going to say buy. And there you go. We're ready to cut it. We've made our purchase. Even though you're buying things through the Apple App Store, you will still have access to the cuts you've purchased in your Cricut Design Space account. So if we wanted to go and do this Make It Now project on our computer with Cricut Design Space, we could do that and you won't have to buy it again. Right. So that's a quick overview of the new iPad app by Provacraft and Cricut. I can't wait to use this a lot more. And hopefully they're listening and they'll make it as great as Design Space if not better. Doing the Make It Now projects on the iPad is kind of fun, and you get to be hands-on a little bit with it, which is cool. Yeah, it is. If you're interested in learning more about the Bluetooth wireless adapter for your Cricut Explore, look in the description below, and we'll put a link to our video where we show you how to set it up with the Cricut and with your computer, whether you're using Windows or a Mac. I hear it's magic. What? So all in all, I really like the new iPad app from Cricut. I give it a thumbs up. Especially if you have Ken by the Cricut putting the mats in for you and you're outside. So if you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and like us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Also check out our description below for information about Patreon, where you can support us and get tons of great rewards. So until next Tuesday, or probably sooner. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Quick, go put the bat in. If you made blah blah. How, if, do, you, how do you make blah blah?